Hey everyone, it's War here. I've got a UU battle against a guy called P uh, Lucas PK Thunder, and I'm wondering whether that's off like the uh, off Super Smash Brothers, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, the uh, character Ness. He goes PK Thunder, PK Fire. I don't know. I'm just being a retard. But anyway, yeah, he messaged me and said he wanted to have a battle. I'll leave a link in the description to his YouTube channel below. You should go and check him out. And um, yeah, so anyway, here we go. He leads out Alakazam. I should have pursued it there, but I thought maybe he would stay in and, and, I don't know, do something. But that cost me harshly, not just going straight out for the kill there. But we'll see that later. Anyway, he goes to his Hitmon top and uh, gets the intim Intimidate on my CB um, Spirit Him, so I switch out because I'm not going to be doing much. So I go to Osama, he fake outs, which is fine. I take like a beast, and I think I set up Reflect there, and then I T-wave his Azumarill, because, sorry, I just wasn't watching for a bit. But anyway, he... um. He subs up, so it's a sub puncher. He gets power hacks as he goes to do his first focus punch. I don't know how much it would have done. He gets to, uh, I get my SR up, and he uh, I U turn on his um on his focus punch there, so that I can go to a ghost. I have two ghosts on this team, and I get decide to go to this one because I don't want to go showing on my whole team straight away. And then um, so yeah, it doesn't affect me obviously. I sneak, just trying to break the sub, which it does, and uh, it's excellent. So. Uh, he withdraws there and goes to his mill tank to obviously dodge the um, the CB Shadow Sneak. And uh, so I can't hit it, so I have to get out of there. I kind of expected him to, um, well yeah, I thought he would like T-Wave or Toxic or something, but anyway. So I go to this guy to um, to taunt this um, mill tank, I think that's what it's called, yeah. I taunt it, and he heal bells, so... Now his thing isn't paralyzed, this thing. And, um, yeah, I get paralyzed as I try and taunt that turn. Which is kind of a bummer, but, uh, doesn't matter. He aqua jets, and that, that does reasonable damage. And this turn I finally get the taunt off, which is, um, which is good. So now he can't substitute or whatever the hell he wants to do. And, um, scanning lefties. He aqua jets again because it's doing pretty decent damage. And I get paralyzed again as I was trying to will a wisp to try and burn and cripple it. And that's kind of these few power power hack turns are kind of a kind of annoying, but whatever. So yeah, he uh, finishes me off with the third aqua jet. I give this guy for the revenge kill, but I don't know I don't know what the heck I was thinking because Aqua Jet's gonna do a dump load and Grass Knot's easily not gonna two it is easily not gonna one hit K because Azumarill's not very heavy and my it's not stabbed, so I switch out, not, not wanting to take another Aqua Jet, and I go to this guy because I got some uh, got some couple of priority moves sitting up here, and he uh, I use Sucker Punch there instead of using Shadow Sneak or Pursuit again, probably because I'm a retard and because I don't know, he just outplayed me, I guess. So I Sucker Punch there, expecting something. Uh, I thought it would extreme speed, to be honest. Actually, no, why would I think I extreme speed? I'm just saying random shit now. But yeah, I suck a punch again, and it's not going to quite kill him. And his first fire blast there missed, which is kind of bad, because it's, it's PP wasting for him, as he says in his video, which I'll link in the description below, of course. And he, uh, so his second one hits. Uh, he su I um, I should have realized it was a bulky um, Arcadine, since so I um, had leftovers, and that it would probably morning sun there, so I shouldn't have sucker punched. I should have... Uh, switched out, but whatever, I switch out here, he fire blasts, and that missed again, so that's 2 out of 3 missing, that's 85% accuracy, which is not terrible, but it's not the best, now uh, his fourth one hits me, as I set up my reflect, I believe, because I just sort of looked down for a second anyway, and then I, um, I T-wave it, because, I don't know, I just didn't, he burns me, and that's kind of unfortunate, because, uh, well, actually, it's not that bad at all, really, because I don't have any I don't have any attacking moves except U-turn, and it uh, doesn't do much anyway. So he switches out there to... I'm not quite 100% sure why. Maybe... He, oh, actually, like, I know why, because that's the reason narration. He said he didn't want to waste PP on his Fire Blast. So I U-turn out, I get switch advantage. But I'm a downy because he had Fake Out anyway, even though I didn't know he had Sucker Punch. So I shouldn't have gone to Alakazam knowing he had Fake Out because it would have just killed me. So yeah, I, uh, he I he close combats my Hariyama, and that doesn't do much at all. And I brick break it for the uh, kill. Sorry, some people was just talking to me on Skype, and it's kind of hard to uh, 
read and narrate, so I'm just not, I'm just not going to reply to them. Anyway, he goes to this guy, and I don't want to stay in for his psychic. I go to this person here, but he subs. Really, really good prediction there by him. And that, uh, that's, that's good. So he go yeah, he switches out now because I found out later that that thing only has psychic, so it can't really hurt me. I sneak, which is when I probably should have pursued it again. But, uh, anyway, so yeah, sneak does nothing because it's a bulky Arcanine, and I just do it again. That's his last Fire Blast PP, I believe, unless he's used a PP up or PP max. And, um, so yeah, down goes my Spiritomb. I go to this guy, and I obviously the thing's paralyzed, and I haven't seen it use Extreme Speed. I was worried about it because Extreme Speed plus Aqua Jet would be able to take me out from these two po the two priorities those pokes can carry. But he doesn't do it, and Night Slash takes out the Arcanine. I take an Aqua Jet pretty nicely, and the Night Slash... I thought it might have been a crit because of, um... Super Luck plus Night Slash's, um... effect, but it wasn't. And, uh... So, yeah, I suck a punch, and he did that misclick. He meant to use Grass Whistle, or I think it's... that puts me to sleep there, but instead he accidentally clicked and used, uh... Sorry, misclicked and used Leaf Storm, which cost him the game in the end because that Leaf Storm, if he used Grass Whistle, would have put me to sleep. Then he could have killed me, and then I wouldn't have been able to um, wreak as much havoc with my Absol. So I superpower, and that takes down the uh, Mill Tank, obviously because of um, what's that thing called that I got Life Orb. Sorry, yeah, just mental blank. And he uh, he subs and um. I suck a punch there. I didn't know. I still didn't know that his only attacking move was psychic at the stage. But as as I saw encore, I kind of figured out it was because sub encore, calm mind, and then psychic. So whatever. I have to switch out because I'm encored into a useless sucker punch. He psychics. It barely lives, which is really gay for him. But lucky for me because that means U10 will break his sub, even though I'm burned. Alakazam's got some of the most terrible defense in the game. And I go to this guy just as, just sort of death fodder into uh, because I've got ice punch that maybe I thought it might, I might be able to scare him with something that I don't have, and uh, so he subs up, and um, <coughs> excuse me, sorry, and I break it with an ice punch, and I uh, just sort of I'm just kind of leaving this guy in his death fodder now, hoping he's gonna like over predict or do something, and I'm gonna be able to get an ice punch that's gonna hit him, and um. So yeah, but that doesn't happen. He subs down to where he can't really make another, I don't think. And he just psychics me there for the kill. Which is what he what he should have done a couple of turns ago, but he didn't nearly know what was, what was uh what, what my Hariyama was doing there. And uh it didn't really have a purpose, it was just sort of there to die to even the score and scare him a bit maybe. So I bring out this guy instead of bring out Absol, just because this I was being nice, sort of. And, um, so now I bring out my last Pokemon, it's down to one all, and I've figured out by now that he hasn't got, he's only got Psychic, so if I just lock myself into Night Slash, even if he on calls, that's, um, that's game. So yeah, GG, Lucas PK Thunder, or just Lucas, I guess. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to his, uh, channel below. You should definitely go check him out, he's got some good battles up, really good narrations as well. And uh, you should probably you should uh, definitely sub to him as well. So yeah, see ya. Peace.